Hi, welcome to another episode of the Mike Page Doodle Club. I'm Mike Page, and today we're going to draw a squid and also a jellyfish. Uh, this is another great technique lesson. Um, there's a little bit of kicking the pencil out and various ways of holding the pencil to get desired results. Uh, so join along, don't be afraid to make mistakes, and let's get right to it. All right, so to make our squid, I'm going to think of it in terms almost of an arrow. And then we're going to make a straight line. And now we'll make, this is where the eye would be, right about here. And then we'll have tentacles start coming off. Uh, and to make these, you'll want to kind of kick your pencil out like that. And the tricky part is in coming back in in a relatively parallel manner. You want them to start tapering as they go. Um, and this mark I made a lot lighter because I'll be adding some little suckers here. So for each sucker, I'm basically going to make an oval. And a lot of times, if I'm drawing like an octopus or a squid, the faster you make these ovals, the more believable they'll look. Um, so it's a quick oval, and then inside of that, if these are facing downward slightly, so the inside part, I'm just going to draw this edge here. If they were facing upward, like we can make one on this side, and since this one is facing upward, we would make this, this edge rather than a rainbow shape you're making sort of a smooshed U. And again, the faster you make those, the, the more the viewer's eye will say, ah, yes, that's a, that's a squid. Um, if, if you go too carefully on these, sometimes it's actually counterproductive. Um, and some of them you can have, you know, as, as it curves around, now you're seeing it on the opposing edge. Um, so we'll make some more tentacles coming out here. And we'll put some suckers on there. So this is just kind of uh, repetition and variation and repetition. So you'll want, it, you're making a whole bunch of ovals, but <clears throat> you want each one to be slightly different from the others. Uh, so each each arm of the squid will be curving a little bit differently, so maybe this one comes out like this. Um, and then we'll have this one here continue on. And when I, when I finish this squid, I'll probably demonstrate a jellyfish really quickly too. Uh, jellyfish are something that you can kind of draw as a scribble and have come out looking more believable than you would expect for quick scribbles. So we basically just want some variation with these uh, arms coming out and the suckers on them. Um, this line I was just adjusting slightly, so you might have noticed as I made it that this line wouldn't quite continue through to where I can, where I did continue it. Uh, so I was adjusting that a little bit so that it, your eye reads it as one continuous arm. 
Uh, if you make one of these coming off at the, at the wrong angle where it doesn't continue through, uh, someone else's brain will not perceive that as a continued object. So this, this curve works relatively well coming around here, so hopefully your brain is perceiving that as one arm. And I'm, I'm starting to lose, lose the sharp edge on my pencil, which isn't the best for making those small suckers there, but... Uh, and then we'll just add some... a little bit of shading here to... give it a little more interest. And again, I've mentioned in previous episodes where I'm using a pencil that if you start getting these scratches within your lines, it means it's time to sharpen the pencil. But I'm almost done, so I'm going to push through it here. So there's our squid, and I mentioned I might do a quick jellyfish just to demonstrate that. I'm going to switch. This is a B pencil that I'm switching to. Um, this one's going to be a harder graphite and slight more, slightly more shine when I press down on it. Um, and it's a little bit lighter of a pencil than the 4B that I was just using. So for a jellyfish... You're going to start with basically a rainbow shape and then make it sort of wavy here. I'm going to slide this paper up slightly. And then for the tentacles, we're just going to keep kicking the, the pencil out in wavy lines. And just like the squid, you want some variation and repetition, so uh, I'm reaching the end of the paper, so uh, it's a little difficult to create a, quite as much variation as I would like, but uh, ideally there would be some that would that would go much much further down, uh, but again I'm running out of room to to really create that. Uh, and then just a little bit of shading right here and sort of make this a little bit more three-dimensional looking by adding a bit more shading. And you've got a very simple jellyfish. All right, so here is our finished squid and jellyfish. Um, the jellyfish was primarily just kicking the pencil out in like slightly wavy lines. Uh, and the squid requires a little bit more control, and, but you still want to be drawing relatively quickly to, to imply movement of the squid. I hope you enjoyed following along, and tune in another time for another episode of the Mike Page Doodle Club. Thanks for watching. Now that you've finished your doodles, color them in, and then share them with both Mike Page and Medfield TV. We're going to take those images, and we're going to put them all over our station. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Thank you.